Where am I? Where am I? Where? What am I doing here? What am I doing? Somebody help me, please! Somebody help me! Somebody help! Somebody help me! Where is this place? Hello, please help me, please. Hello, please. I don't know. My, can you hear me, please? Can you? Can you hear me, please? Hello, please. I, I just need you to help me, please. I just need help. Okay. Hello. Hello. I'm talking to you, and you're not listening to me. Hello. Hey. I don't know why this man is just like that. I was trying to talk to him, but he's not answering me. Please. Can you help me? Hello. I'm, can you just look at me? What is wrong with these people? Nobody's talking to me. What is wrong? What is wrong with these people? Nobody was. Hello, Blackie. Hello. I don't know. Somebody help me. <coughs> oh my God, little boy. Oh, somebody help me. Oh my God. Hey, hey, beautiful. Hey, beautiful. I don't know. I don't know why men are like that. I, I was talking to them. They're supposed to help me. They're supposed to talk to me. I don't even know how, how to begin. You're my fellow woman. Can you just look at me and talk to me, please? Hey! Hey! Oh my God! What have I done? What, what is happening to me? Goodness. I need help. I need help. Not Kingsley. Hey, look at you. I've been trying to talk to a lot of people here. They're not answering me. I'm glad I met you, and you're actually the reason I'm here. Kingsley, hey, Kingsley, you wouldn't do this to me. The rest did it, and you can't do it to me. Can you just talk to me now? What? Stop this, Kingsley. What is wrong with you? Hey. Can you stop already? Kinsley! Can you listen to me? Why are you like this now? Wait for me. You are the reason I'm here. And everyone will stop talking to me and you... Hey, hey, hey! Baby, I'm all sweaty. I know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm so sorry I didn't join you today. It's okay. It was very exhausting, right? I am. So just go and freshen up while okay. I get the food ready. Okay. Okay. Amazing. Yeah, baby. See you soon. Okay, honey.
ready? The food is, is ready. I'm sorry, babe. I have to run. Run to where? I just got a call. It's important I'm there, okay? So I well, you said you weren't going out today. I know. I, they, get, they called me. I really have to be there right now. Babe, listen. I, I need this food for you, you know. I told you I was making you breakfast. Babe, I'll have it when I come back, okay? You just want to leave like that? What? Not even a kiss. Oh, My bad. Hold on to that till I come babe, back. I'm gonna keep it for you. You're gonna eat when you come I back. I will, baby. I love you! This lady looks so much like me. I don't understand. What's happening here? Why do we have so much resemblance? Same face, same shape. This is totally unbelievable. Baby. Thank you. Look at you. Mm, I arranged your lipstick. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I got you this. Oh, thank you, baby. Your favorite ice cream. Thank you, baby. Thank 
you so much, baby. You're welcome. But I'm not happy with you. What have I done? You didn't eat my food in the morning. I'm sorry. I spent time to prepare your favorite. I'm sorry. All right, let's go inside. After you. No, 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 wait. Oh, God. You've not apologized properly. <laughs> oh. No. Jesus, stop that! Please stop it! Why would you be kissing that woman? Why, why are you doing this right in my presence? You can... Kisley, will you stop that? I'm sorry. All right. Let's go. After you. Now, let's stay. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. Where are they playing love? Let it not be what I'm thinking. Daniel. What are you doing with this lady that looks so much like me? Hey, what are you doing here? I'm asking you, what are you doing here? You can see me? Why not? Oh my goodness. Sir. I can see you. Um, please, I, I need your help. If you can't see me, I really need your help, please. Why not? I can help you. I've helped so many of your kind. I know your kind. Restless. You, 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 you just, listen, I can help you. Sir, please, I have somebody I really want to talk with, but he just can't see me. So if there's anything, anyhow, you can help me, just for him to see me, I would really appreciate it, please. Uh, uh, that, is, that is not a problem to me. I will help you if you will come with me. I will give you something that will make him see you. Oh, thank you so much. I've done it for so many of your kind, eh? so not? come with me. Why not? I'll go with you. Come with me, come, let's go. Come with me. Sir, mm -hmm. what's your name? Uh, hey, don't worry about my name, I will tell you later. Just come with me. Don't I deserve to know whom you are? You will know who I am. Yeah. When I get there? Shoot them now. All? Now, all of them. That's all. So when I get there, he would see me? Of course. Oh, goodness. How do I repay you for this? <laughs> you don't have to think about that. Forget that. Hmm? I'm happy helping you. It's okay. Please, let me get something right. You mean, once I get to where he is now, he would be able to see me? That's all. <gasps> Thank you so much, yeah, okay. Thank you. I would come back to show appreciation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, there might be no need for that. My duty to make you happy, that's all. Thank you. Yeah. Hmm? Hey, baby. Hey. I'm ready to leave. Okay, you look nice. Thank you. And you, why are you seated here? Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. I'm taking the day off. A day off? 
Huh? And you didn't tell me you could have taken an excuse from work. Oh, come on. Better go to work. Don't use me as an excuse mm, to skip work. Stop that. Is it because you're the CEO now? I'll soon be my own CEO. Well, till then, you will begin to enjoy certain privileges. But for now, go to work. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, come, come. I know what you want. Come. Come. Let me give you a peck. Mm. Mm. Hold on to that. I miss you. I'll still come back early. <laughs> Take care, baby. Love you. I love you too, baby. Right. Why are you back so early and why did you change the dress? You're asking too many questions at the same time. I missed you. So I decided to come back to come be with you. Is it bad? I didn't hear you driving. Oh, my vehicle had issues, so I had to use Enviable Transport Company to get here. I miss you, baby. You miss me, right? So I want you to... Why are you staring at me like that? You don't like the dress? It's your favorite color. Yeah. It's, White. It's, it's beautiful, but um, just, you know. There is nothing to think about. Your baby is here to be with you. Just take me upstairs and make love to me. Come on, baby. Right now? Right now. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, okay. Come on, I got you. Oh. Please, can you switch off the light? Why? <laughs> we never turn off the light. I know, baby. But I just want to try something new with you. It's a new method. Oh. I promise you, you will love it. Let's go ahead. Switch okay. off the light. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. Okay, so the lights are off. What's really going on? Is this really my wife? I mean, why is she now so good in bed? She seems different. 
she's even more romantic. <laughs> what is going on? Hey. How are you, babe? I'm good. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah. From a scale of 1 to 10? Rated? 12, actually. Maybe we need to turn off the light more often, you know. Okay, I told you that you would love it. Can you please turn on the light one more time? Sure. Of course. Uh... Babe, I see you fixed your car. Money. Oh. oh, you shopped for us. I got the things you asked me to get. I asked you to get. Yeah, I got everything. <laughs> but I didn't ask you to get anything, baby. And even if I did, I know you. You're so lazy, you wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> babe, are you being serious right now? No, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> You're joking. Hey, please, I'm so tight. That, that reminds me, you were talking about my car. Yeah, I saw they fixed it. Fixed it? Is there anything wrong with the car? Why are you? Why are you? you seem to be playing games with me. I'm so tired. Even I, I, I had to just dump myself here. Because I couldn't get up upstairs. Let me just be here. I'm waiting for you. Who's that? And how, do, how come she's putting on her work clothes? Uh, here. <laughs> what game is she playing? Stars. Can you just perform your husbandly duties? Mm. Please. Can you tell me you're not in the mood? It's been up to a week and you haven't touched me. You're telling me you're not in the mood. Oh, you've been touching someone else. What do you mean? Mm. What do you mean it's up to a week? We made love in the afternoon. Can what are you saying? Can you be saying that? When do I leave work very early and I come back in the evening? I'll stop that, stop that. Look, I say I've not touched you for a week. You have not. <laughs> what are you saying? We made love in the afternoon. I said. Can you stop already? Baby, stop it. Just tell me you're tired and I will just go to bed. How can you say you made love in the afternoon? To who? Has it been long I got back? <laughs> stop, stop it. Stop. <laughs> Please, I want to sleep. Please, please, please. Good love in the afternoon. Now you want more. Come on. Oh goodness, I have a headache. Let me really go do something for you. Make something for you to eat before you're leaving for work. No, you don't have to. I'll, I'll get something on my way to the office. Well, I need to grab something here. Hey, babes, don't sweat it, alright? I'll be fine. I'll get something. 
That's all right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was meaning to tell you. I will be visiting my auntie today. So everything okay? Nothing really much. I just want to go see her today. It's, it's been a while. Although I won't be coming back. Okay. I'll send you some money so you can buy some things for her, okay? Oh, sweetness. I mean, you're so sweet. <laughs> Are you just leaving like that? Of course not. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Yeah. I thought you were supposed to go to the village. I changed my mind. What happened? Nothing. I just decided not to go. I will visit them some other time. <laughs> You're wearing this white dress again. But it's your favorite color, babes. I decided to wear it for you. Because I know it makes you happy. And yes! You know it rained so much today. What I so cold. And I know that my husband would be needing a thorough massage. So I decided to stay back and give him the good massage that his body truly deserves. <sighs> Isn't that nice, baby? Hmm. You would need a massage from your wife, right? <laughs> well, it's not a bad idea. Okay. So do you mind switching off the light as usual? Completely. I know the sound of that. <laughs> okay, like right now? Right now. Okay. <laughs> uh, once you do that, it gives me this energy. This energy. What's that? Did you see a ghost? What's with you? Why are you surprised to see your wife? What is it? What is it? Um. Um what? What are you pointing at? I left you upstairs. You left who upstairs? Myself, upstairs. Me that is just coming back from my auntie's place. I don't understand. You left me upstairs. Oh! <laughs> Today marks the end. Oh! You brought a woman into this house! Kinsley! I... I what? I what? Oh, let's, let me not just meet her. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I 
tell anyone exactly what I saw, they will be scared. Really making me go nuts. What's happening right now? I don't even understand what's going on. Is Jemima playing tricks on me? What's really going on? Almost done, so. <laughs> Are you okay? Mm -hmm. I've not had time with you in a while. Just go now, stay. Don't you, don't you like how your wife is looking? I do. <laughs> you know. You always know how to get me. Mm. <laughs> mm. Come here. <laughs> Let me turn off the light. Why? I like it this way. Babe, you said turning off the light is your new method, so... My new method? I never said that to you, babe. What are you talking about? Babe. The last time we made love, we turned off the light. And it was amazing. I think it brings out the bad girl element in you. Babe, I'm, I can't remember ever turning off the light while I'm making love with you. Not, not even for once. You are you... Uh, wait, are you sure you're not seeing another woman? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm sure I'm not seeing another woman. Because it has never happened, so I'm just surprised. Have you changed your mind? On what, babes? I am very much, you know, honey. Yeah. But you're not turning up the light. I like it this way. I like to see my man's face. I like to see how you look at me and everything. The light should be on. Okay. <laughs> no, no problem. Yeah, so I just finished from work. I'm on my way home. What about you? Are you done? So I could come pick you up? No, babes. I'll be going home later today. I have extra work to do at the office. Oh, okay. I guess I have to... I have to make dinner myself then. So you... you when you return, you just eat and sleep. <laughs> you know I love you, right? I love you too! Alright, take care of yourself. Don't let them stress you too much. Trust me, if they stress you, I will insist that you resign. And I'm not joking. <laughs> Alright, love. Take care, sweetheart. These days you act very strange. You don't talk to me no more. 
you stay alone most of the time and it's it's really it's really not good i mean ever since mom and dad died you've been you've been acting somehow you've been acting out of you you don't talk to me you don't we don't we don't act like siblings no more what's happening i mean if there is anything that is bothering you why don't you just bring it out let's sort it out let's talk about it I mean, all the brother for crying out loud. Let's talk. Brother Michael. Purity. I'm still the purity, you know. No, you're not. Nothing changed. Everything changed. Everything. Acting so different. I don't understand the woman I married anymore. Everything about her is so, so confusing. What's going on? Talking to you, baby. Yes, dear. You've been like this ever since you came back. Hope all is well with you. Why are you staring at me? Like that? Where are you going? Why? Hold on. What's wrong with you? I should be asking you that. Why? Baby. Babe! Babe! What's wrong with my husband? Purity. These days, you act really strange. You do strange things. You say strange things. I mean, this was not who you were before. This is not my sister. What was happening? What changed? What was going on? Don't worry. With time, you will understand. With time, I would know. With time, I would understand. The same thing over and over again.
Look, where have you been? Me? What happened? You didn't come back early. Look at the time. And I've been calling you. You refused picking my calls. Why are you back this time? No, baby, you won't do this this time. You have to answer me. This thing you're doing is not fair. It's not. Please. Ah! You just pushed me. My husband. He's never laid his hands on me. Babe! Let's go! I'm not hungry. I don't understand. What do you mean you're not hungry, baby? I woke up very early to prepare that for you. Your favorite. Have you forgotten? You know, I have to go to work now. See you when I return. Hey, 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 hey. Don't do that. Don't be like that, baby. You have to eat my food. I prepared it for you. And I said I'm not hungry. Even if you don't want to eat the food, is this how you're going to leave? No keys, no hub, no peck, just like that. Babe! Babe! Let's come over here. What's happening to my husband? Jemima. She's a ghost. The lady that just passed here. I she... didn't see anyone. What are you talking about? Who? Don't worry, you don't have an inner eyes. Let me get you water. It's okay, it's okay. Please, I'll get you the water, please. Don't bother. Babes. I'm sorry. If I've done anything wrong to you, I'm really sorry. I don't like the cold shoulders you've been you've been giving me since you got back. Please. Okay. Oh, baby. Please can you chill? I don't want us to be like this. I don't want you getting angry with me, please. Please, I'm sorry. I've okay. forgiven you, all right? I'm not angry with you, just that sometimes you act strange and it's really annoying, like, I'm, I'm not finding it funny. Sorry, please, let me just let it slide. Please don't just, you know, 
talk about that anymore. Mm. It's okay. I'm not angry with you again. Thank you, my sugar banana. <clears throat> I think you've tried. Okay, you've tried. Please. You can go to bed now. No, I can't go to bed without you. Please, let's just... <sighs> the one you've done it is enough. Okay. Okay, sir. You're done. Get out of here. What do you call it, sir? You are the sir. <laughs> Calm down, calm down, all right? Calm down, calm down. What happened? What's wrong? What happened? I miss mom and dad. It's very hard to know that I won't see them till the end of the world. I understand how you feel. I know sometimes I feel that way too, but hey, you have me here. You have big brother here, right? I wish they are still alive. I wish they never died. I need you to understand something, yeah? That they are gone, physically. But in our hearts, they are gonna still be there all the time. They are always watching over us. So stop feeling this way, alright? And you have me here, you have a big brother. We are gonna fight, alright? Just, it's okay. It's okay. I really miss them too. Babe, you're not eating your food. What is it? Are you not enjoying it? Honey? Honey, what is it? I should be the one asking you. Asking me what? What is it with all the changes? Changes? Yes! It almost feels like you live two different lives. What is going on? Baby. I'm sick of it. What have I done wrong? You don't begin to think you're possessed. Baby! Yes! How could you say that? Because that's the only thing that explains this. Like, what is going on? Why? No, no, no. Just, 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 just eat. Babe! Ah. What's this? I'm possessed! Babe! Now where are you going? You ask like you care. I said a damn question. Where are you going? I am going to see my friend Lisa. Fine. Good. Knows what Kingsley will come up with this night again. It is every time always bringing up things that never happened. I'm tired. I just feel like not coming back. I'm just tired. I. Babe, 
of sleep is this? How can he be sleeping and snoring like this? In this bed? Oh my God. Could it be that he brought in a woman into this room on our matrimonial bed? <laughs> Babe! Babe! Of course, like I say, it's not a problem. I'll see what I can do about it. Yeah. Let me call you back. Who were you with last night? Excuse me? Who did you sleep with last night? Who were you with? What do you mean, who did I sleep with? Of course I slept with you. No. How? I came back and found out that the bed was messed up. Who were you with on our matrimonial bed last night? Look, I came in really drunk last night. I crashed on the couch and you took me upstairs and we made love. So what are you talking about? Who took you upstairs? Who made love to you? You did! No, no, I did not! Who were you with last Oh, you've been cheating on me? What are you no, saying? You, you have been cheating on me? Baby, are you feeling okay? No, I'm fine! Will you stop that? Stop it! So are you saying that I made love to someone else? Is that what you're saying? I did not make love to you. I was never with you on that bed, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Babes, truly, this, this prank is not working. Who is pranking you? Can you stop it? Stop making me feel like I'm going mad. I'm not pranking you. I don't have time for that. Hey, what are you saying? I wasn't with anyone. What are you saying? I'm saying that whoever that you're sleeping with, you're cheating on me! No, I'm not cheating on you! Come on, that's ridiculous! How can you say that? Look, this your prank is Oscar worthy, right? But it's not, I'm not falling for it. You're not going anywhere. You are not going anywhere until you answer my question. You can't be doing all sorts and then in our own house. I didn't sleep with anyone! What's your problem? Miss, please! What did you think? Look, Robert, quit with the pranks, okay? Stay away from me, you this little brat. I know your plan, but it will never work for you. Remain in my path one more time and you get crushed. I will not warn you again. Are you okay? <laughs> yes, I'm fine. Just go back to sleep. Are you sure? Yes, go back to sleep. Come with me. Let me give you some sugar. Let's go upstairs. No, 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 no. I know you can't say no to me. Hey, babe, babe, stop it. Come on, you stop. I said I am not in the mood. You have to be in the mood. Please. Don't get me upset. I'm not in the mood. And when I say I'm not in the mood, I'm not in the mood.
babe. Babe, are you okay? Oh my, your temperature is very high. Why didn't you tell me? Please, we have to visit the clinic, please. Let me take you to the hospital, please. Get up. Look at you, you're even sweating. Baby, please get up. Just get up, please. Help. I'll, I'll get your sleep bus. How can you just be here? You didn't tell me that you're not feeling fine. Come on, come on, honey. Come on, baby. Come on. Please. Let's go. Please, sorry. Baby. Hey. How are you, my baby? I'm okay. I'm getting better? Yeah. I'm glad you are. My cute husband. Um, so if you need more of this, I'm gonna make it available ASAP. Thank you. I hope you're not too angry about what happened the other day. Angry? Over what? You didn't do anything wrong to me, so why should I be angry? I didn't mean to push you on the couch yesterday. It's completely out of character and I want to apologize for that. And I promise it will never happen again. <laughs> Honey, can you be serious for once? Look at how mean you are, saying something that never happened. And you're trying to pull my legs or what? Oh, please. I have something on the five. Let me check it. Yeah. Honey. I miss you, baby. I love you. I love you. Mm -mm. I'm coming. I get your spoon and thumb. That's it. I'm not hungry. I bought um, rice and beans. But if you don't like it, I could get you noodles and egg. Go get your spoon now. What is happening? All of a sudden, you are all moody and everything. I understand that, yes, mom and dad is dead. And, but you just became the saddest overnight. You know what, I feel like this Sunday, right, we would go to the pastor to pray. So at least we'll know what, what's happened to you. Let's, let's do that. Brother Michael. Yes? Please, keep all those things to yourself. Because you want to understand me. Then make me understand now, make me understand. I won't understand, I won't understand, make me understand. It's actually annoying, make me understand. See, I'm, I'm tired. I'm done. We must go to that church. We must. We just have to. I want to understand you, but you're not letting me understand you. Make me understand you, young lady. I didn't mean to push you on the couch yesterday. It's completely out of character and I want to apologize for that. And I promise it will never happen again. <laughs> Honey, can you be serious for once? 
Look at how me you are. Saying something that never happened. And you're trying to pull my legs or what? Oh please, I have something on the five. Let me check. Why was Kinsley saying that he pushed me to the couch? Me? When? Which day? What could be the problem? Can I call you back? Hi. Auntie, yeah. you forgot this in our show. Thank you so much. I had a lot with me. I literally forgot. Okay, hold on, please. Have this for yourself. Thank you, Ma. God bless you. <laughs> Bye, Ma. Right. I'll see you. Right. Nonsense. I don't understand. Listen here, Kinsley is crazy and annoying you when you don't listen to me. Listen to what? Listen to the nonsense you keep spewing. Who is spewing nonsense? Like you're making conscious effort to confuse me. Who is confusing you? You are the one confusing yourself. Okay, the other day you said you pushed me to the couch and you were apologizing and I kept wondering when, how did it happen? Never happened. So what's wrong with you? you, you we are trying to make- Hey honey, hey, let me bring you back please. Ever since we got married, it's been sweet, all rosy, you've been caring, loving. You have never laid your hands on me. So what What have you been talking about? Do you remember why you're trying to make me look like a crazy person? Are you saying that I apologize for something I did not do? Is yes. What you're saying? You apologize for something that never happened. Something that never ever happened. I mean, I'm trying to factor me if you're being delusional right now. What is wrong with you, honey? All this you've been talking about has never happened. I've, I've never thought of it. Talk more of executing it. So what is it? What? Look, if this is a prank, you better stop it because I'm not finding it funny. Who is pranking you? And who has that time? Honey, are you sure you're fine? Are you sure you're okay? What is all this? Please, can you stop it already? Stop it. Please stop this prank. Jemima, stop this prank. I'm not finding it funny anymore. What is it? Like, am I going insane? Have I lost my mind? Just maybe you are. Just maybe you have lost it already. Just maybe you are. What is this? Each time Auntie Jemima leaves for work, the ghost enters her house. The worry now is, you see all these things, you know all these things, but yet you refuse to let her know. No one fully well that this ghost might definitely be spoiling, ruining her marriage. I mean, Auntie Jemima is one of our best customers and she's a woman of kind heart, so why are you doing that? My spirit hasn't moved me yet to go tell her. Hi Lisa. Oh, give me a minute, I'm coming. Yeah, I'll be with you soon. Right. Good. Oh! Comfortable. Thank you. Mm, so, <laughs> did you get me? What's that? You 
perceiving anything. Somehow. Oh. Did you? I don't have it for five. Are you okay? God! This is unbelievable. wondering how my food got burnt. How come? You have been at home. So. That's the problem. I mean, I brought the food down myself. It was cool. It was already done. I brought it down myself. I turned off the gas myself. Even while I was bringing it down, the handle actually, you know, hurt me a bit because it was very hot. So, I, I, I don't understand the whole thing. So, does that mean that you have a new house help? No, I'm alone in this house. My husband has gone out. So what now happened? I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, goodness. I have this to get to the market now. Please. Okay, go in and change to something nice. So come No, on. I'm going like this. I mean, I'm good. Like this. My husband will soon be back and I need to make food for him. I don't have time to. I'm, am I not looking okay? Do I have to be all dressed because I want to go to the market? <laughs> Um, let's just go. I'll All right. pick my car key. All right. Okay. Be fast. I'll be waiting outside. Okay. No, I locked it before we left. Oh, could it be that my husband is back? Oh, his car is not back outside. And uh, maybe we should go in and check if he's inside. Okay, hold on, please. I'm coming. I'm coming. Right. Honey. Is it inside? It's, it's like the movies. I mean, I don't understand what's what's been happening since today. My husband is not at home. And when I left this house, I shut the door. I locked it myself. And I wonder why it's open. Could you be that you didn't lock it? Well? I did! Don't do that. I'm not a child. Are you sure? Like very sure. What is this? Okay. Maybe your gatekeeper can ask him. Oti! Oti! How? Why did you come in here while I was away? No, I did not go. What do you mean you did not? They both opened my door. Did my husband come back while I was away? No. Your husband is not yet back. Wait, I, I want to get something right. Did my husband at any point return to the house and maybe probably left? No. He didn't do. Huh? Then who opened my door? I swear with everything I hold in my, uh, with my life. I did not do. I have never ever set my foot here. Even when we are not around. I only comes in here when the duty calls. And that's oh, well. Shh, shh, shh. I don't have time for such nonsense. Get out. Oh. Oh. Lisa? Did you hear that? I did. But could it be that you didn't lock this door properly? Something is happening in this house. No, I can't keep quiet. 
it any longer. It's time for me to speak up before she destroys Auntie Jemima's marriage. But I can't do it alone. I need Brother Michael's help. The issue is that if he will accept to do what I may ask him to do, I just hope this work and I pray Uncle Kingsley and Auntie Jemima will hear us out. I just hope. Lisa, everything I've told you here is the truth, and nothing but the truth. Do you really think your husband is cheating on you? Of course he is. He's cheating on me. But the one that pains me the most is that he brings the women into the house, into our matrimonial room, on our bed. Why did Kingsley change all of a sudden? It wasn't like this. It wasn't. I have no idea what has entered into him. He has so changed. He acts so differently now. It's okay. You need to calm yourself down. Okay? I'm I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm calm. But he's pushing me to the wall. And I'm about to lose it. And when I lose it, you know how it is. This even opened his mouth and, and called me possessed. That I'm possessed. Possessed? Yes. What made him say so? I wouldn't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe the, the women he carries have eventually entered his head. This is serious. He doesn't have respect for his woman anymore. Jesus. to ask you for something. You want to ask me for something? Okay. What was it? I'm listening. I need you to help me to go to Auntie Jemima and deliver a message for me. Well, that's not possible. I'm not going. Brother Michael, please come down and listen to me first. All right, I'm listening. Okay. Mm. I, I want to survive in this world that keeps on trying to destroy me. I am seeing what I am not meant to see as a human being. So, I want you to go to Auntie Jemima and tell her to be careful and stay in prayer so that that ghost won't haunt her or destroy her. Can you hear yourself speak? Do you realize I'm your elder brother? And you don't have, you don't have any right to send me on errands because that's very disrespectful. It's not what you're thinking. It's just that it hasn't moved me to go and tell her. Yeah, when it moves you, eh? You tell me so I can give you the address to go to a house. It's not far from here. I and don't ever try that shit again. I wish you could see what I am seeing. Purity. First off, you're not meant to be here. At all. 
You're not meant to be with me at this point of at this point in time of your life. You're not meant to be in the shop. What are you even doing? You should be in school right now. What I want you to do, yeah, is to go meet uncle. Go stay with him so he can help you get into school and you can further your education. The shop that shop that we are in is not it cannot help you go to school. Go forbid over my dead body will I go and stay with that evil man. Oh, really? He killed mom and dad and he pretends to know nothing about it. Come, you have to stop saying all this rubbish. You're not sure about that. You know if he killed anyone, stop accusing someone falsely. I always say what I see, and what I say is nothing but the truth. What is your problem? What the hell is your problem? Let's go, please. Will you do it? I'm not doing anything. Better walk. Every time the same thing. When I told you I was going to end your life, you thought I was joking, right? Get your hands off me! I will not until you're dead. <laughs> I, I saw the same ghost in my dream again. She tried to kill me. She wanted to strangle me. And this is serious. My joy is that I escaped because I don't know what would have happened to me. So what do we do now? To tell Auntie Jemima the truth. But yes. that's not going to be easy. Let's just give it a try. You have to do this. Okay, even if I'm going to do it, we need to go together. No. The plan is for you to go alone. If that is it, I'm not going. No, I'm not. Okay then. Give me your hands. For what? Just give me your hands first. I'll tell you later. Okay. Please, you have to do this. <laughs> Uh -huh. What is it? Good afternoon. Uh -huh. Good afternoon. Uh -huh. um, I'm here to see Mrs. Jemima. You're here to see my madam? Yes. What for? I have an important message for her, so I need to like deliver it like right now. Important message? Yes. You? Yes, me. Is she expecting you? No, she's not, but it's important. I need to see her right now. And so, was that why you were knocking on my gate? Can I just go see her? It's important. Uh, it's a matter of life and death. Can I just go see her? You have to wait for me to go and inform her. Uh, oh, no problem. Just do that. Understand. How do you come into my house to spew such nonsense? Are you okay? Ma'am, it's not nonsense. It really makes sense. Like. <sighs> what makes sense? That we live with a ghost? Who is the ghost? Ma'am, this same ghost is the reason you and your husband are constantly having problems in the house. Will you shut up? Did I ever tell you that I'm having issues with my husband? Where did you get that from? Are you okay or you're probably high on some cheap drugs? Ma'am, if you want to know more information, kind of just come to the shop so that and, and meet my junior sister Purity. She would explain more to you. This insult is too much for me to be. You're so rude that I should come to your shop to see your little sister. I think you've gone mad. You've gone really insane. And it's high time you left my house. Get out. Ma'am, all I'm just doing is, for, is to help. Just come over to the shop and meet my, my sister. I said get out of my house now. Yes, ma'am. Otty! 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 
Nazi! Come here. Send before you send that man out of this house and don't ever let him come in here again. And when you do that, you come here. Ah, shouldn't don't have respect. Can this really be true? How can an outsider come to my house to tell me that I'm leaving with a ghost? This is insane. The young boy even said that if I doubt him, I should come to his, his shop and meet with his sister. Oh no. That's what? But come to think of it. No one has ever told me this type of thing before. I think I'll have to go there tomorrow. So, I need to really hear them. I need, maybe they would explain better. Because I'm confused right now. into your house each time you leave for work. She's the one causing issues between you and your husband. Wait, wait, I want to get something right. You mean this person looks exactly like me? Yes. If you doubt it, one of these days, just leave. She will come. What? You're not scaring me the more. You don't have to be scared. Be strong if you don't want to lose your husband. But how did you get to know all of this? Are you are you a seer of something? I am whatever you think I am. You have to go and go and do what I asked you to do. Um, I'm just so scared. This whole thing confuses me. How do I even begin? I can't explain myself because you won't understand me. So, leave now. I should leave? Leave. Twin. 
A twin? No. I'm not a twin. Are you sure? Have you asked questions? Well, considering the circumstances surrounding my birth, I think I will have to ask. Although my, my auntie never mentioned any of that to me. But I'm not sure I'm a twin. But I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You mean that is what the girl told you? See, Jemima, it's time you visit your aunt. Yes, visit her and ask her questions about yourself. Please, will you go with me? Um, I would love to go with you, but my boyfriend really wants me to come talk with you. Please, uh, I know that your man needs you, but I need you the most. You know, you're the only <sighs> true friend that I have. Please, you need to be here with me. Support me. I can't do this alone. You know that. I know. I understand how you feel. But we'll always talk on phone. That's not enough. But me then I can stop you from going to see your man. Thank you. Say, you need to be strong, okay? You need to be strong for us. I don't want you to fall ill. You need to wear these shoes of mine for just a minute. Just maybe you understand what I'm feeling or what I'm going through, rather. Yes. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know whether this is a dream. If it is a dream, I wish to wake up already because I'm tired. Everything is so mysterious. It's, I'm not stable. I understand. Not. I understand you perfectly well. I want you to take things easy on yourself, please. It's not that easy. It is not easy, Lisa. It's not. I know. I understand oh. how you feel. But believe me, you will get through this. Yes. Thank you. Oh no, Auntie, please. It's not something we can talk over the phone. No, it's very important. I need to come see you. Tomorrow is fine then. Tomorrow is fine. All right. Babe. You on the phone? Yes, I was talking with my auntie. Okay, hope everything is fine. Maybe everything is okay, but everything is still not okay. I'm trying to see if I could fix this whole thing. Oh, it's, it's mysterious. Well, um, I, 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 I saw that girl. The Sia? Yeah, the little girl. Yeah, okay. Sia. Okay. I met with her, went to the shop. And then we were talking and she asked a question which I do not have answers to. What question? <laughs> asked if I was a twin. I said, no, I'm not. She said that there are things that I need to ask my auntie. Although I called her, but um, she's trying to ask me a few questions, but I just feel we have to see, sit mm. and talk about it. In person. Yeah. In person. So she said tomorrow. Can I come with you? Of course. Of course. Come here. you said here sound so strange yes they might sound strange to you because i've not asked you this before but i really need to know auntie tell me the truth and nothing but the truth do i have a twin why why do you seem surprised please just tell me do i have a twin sister Auntie? Auntie? 
Please forgive me. He... Yes, you have a twin sister. Come on, baby. Right now? Right now. <laughs> Let's go. And I, and I know, know that, that my husband, husband would be needing a tar massage. So, so I decided, decided to stay, stay back, back and give him the good massage he's got what it truly deserves. deserves. <sighs> Isn't, Isn't that, that nice, nice, baby? The day I adopted you, I didn't have enough money, so I left your sister behind. What? I have a twin sister? And you did not tell me all this while? Oh no, auntie, you have disappointed me. You have. And how could you do this to me? How could you have separated my twin sister and I for so many years? Why did you not tell me that I have a twin? Why? No, you did not tell me. That's not fair. That's not fair. That is not just fair. Listen, I, I don't want to believe what my mind is telling me right now. I just don't want to believe it. I just, I want to get to the root of this, to the end. Auntie, I want you to, to give me all the information that I want. Where is the orphanage located? Where? Well, madam, I've heard all that you said. You know, before now, we used to keep manual records of our adoptees and the adopters. Up until last year, when we upgraded into digital database. So I'll just have to scan through my system and check if it has been included her information. So just a sec. Uh, what's that name again? Um, Duka. Duka. Okay. Duka. Okay. See how many Duka do I have? Okay. See Duka Linus. Duka. These are recent documents. Okay, I'm seeing Udoka Ijofo. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. I think I'm okay, just a sec. Look at you for the house, address, the phone number, everything you need. That's okay. Thank you very much. Um, we can work with this. This this will really be helpful. Thank you. Let me um give you something for. I'm going to do that here, sir. I mean, it's my job. It's just for appreciation. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Let's go. So, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, get into the next person.
Why is she running? Screaming Jesus, what? you. I thought it was her ghost. Whose ghost? <laughs> Your sister is dead! <gasps> what? Hey. What? My sister? <gasps> she died in a car accident. <gasps> Please, please, I, I want, I want to see her grave. I need to see, I need to see where she's buried. Can you take me to her grave? Follow me. with my best friend. He didn't feel any remorse. Instead, he ended our long-term relationship. I was shattered. I was so broken. To me, it was the end of the world. All I needed was someone who could make me feel good and make me forget my broken past. And then he came along. He mistook me as his fiance. I mean, I spoke to you on the phone. You said you were going to see your aunt. What happened? How is she, though? Is she okay? <laughs> I'm really surprised to see you here. Oh, oh, okay, okay. You came to surprise me. You. I know you. <laughs> nice. I'm actually surprised. Oh. I just came here to unwind, you know, and just uh, chill for a bit. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Are you sure? I think I have the right news that will cheer you up. Out of the two houses we picked, I settled for one. Guess what? The one you chose, the one at number seven, Edward Close, New GRUA. <laughs> yeah, aren't you excited? Okay. Of course. <laughs> so what's up now? Are you okay? You came to eat? You know what? I think we should go to my hotel. Yeah, you can order anything you want to eat there. Let's go, let's go. I'm so happy to see you though. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. So guess what? Even the furniture you chose, you're moving them to the house today. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so happy. I mean, being that everything is 
falling in place. Like the timing, the fact that um, as soon as we're done with our wedding, we'll be moving into our own house. You know? The wedding! As soon as we're done, we'll be moving into the house and everything will be perfect. Did you give your aunt the card? What did she say? Is she excited? What card? The wedding card! The invitation card. Did you give your aunt? Is she excited about it? Uh, I will still give her. Okay. Do you have anyone with you? I'd like to stop at um, that my supervisor's place to drop one. If Okay, I think I have some in the hotel. Listen, the house you chose is the best. Do you know why? It's big and it's going to accommodate our guests coming in from out of town. Before I could utter a word, he showered me with love and affection. He's so handsome and everything any woman would want. He's my kind of man. The kind of man I really want for myself. In as much as I didn't know what he was talking about. I couldn't still resist him. I had to play along like I was his fiance. Hello, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, so, so let's go. The, the hotel. Of course. <laughs> Babe. Yeah. I tried waking you up, but it seems you were tired and needed some rest. I'm off to the seminar, and I'll call you once I'm done. And please, I would like you to visit the new house tomorrow. At least so that you see how work is going. I'll call you later. Take care. Oh, stop! How would he call me? He doesn't even have my number. Goodness. Why did I not open up to tell this guy that I don't know who he is? I was just pretending. No, no, I've... oh no, I can't lose him. I can't lose this guy. I've, I've already started loving him. No, he's gone. Why do I always have bad luck when it comes to men? Look at this one. No. He, he said something about where he lives or where he's about packing in. Number seven, seven, Edward, close, new GRA. No, I can't let this guy go. I love him already. I must look for him. I must. Look at, look at how he writes. Everything about him is just melting my soul. Oh my God. Oh. I, just go. I hope he paid for the hotel though. I don't have money.
sad. It's so sad that I can't see you. In as much as I wasn't opportune to meet you before you died. Will I promise you something, my beloved sister? As long as I live. As long as I breathe. I would never forget you. You will always have a place in my heart. Always. I love you. I love you so much. I love you. I love you, Jessica. I love you. I love you. I love you. Please, could you rest in peace now? Please rest in peace, my beloved one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she heard you. It's okay. And it's not easy. It's not easy. I'm sure she heard you. Now, I will rest. Okay, 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 hold on. <laughs> what is the reason for this excitement? Why are you smiling to yourself? Yes. Babe, come on, don't do this. You know I'm not good at guessing. No, you have to. You have to guess why. Come on. You should know. Babe, don't make me do this. You know I'm not good at it. Come on. You're telling me you don't know why you're so excited? I don't know. Oh, you don't know. No, I don't know. Okay. What's uh, it with the banana girl? Oh, don't worry. You'll soon find out. Well, your beautiful wife. Yeah. It's pregnant. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, no, come here, baby. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. You have a baby? Yeah, baby. I'm pregnant. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Rebecca. I've been waiting for this day to carry my boy! Oh no, don't say you... that. It's a girl. What do you mean it's a girl? It's a boy. It's a girl. I put it there, alright? I know what I put in. You put it there, but I know what I received. I aimed, I, I, I shot it and it hit the spot I, like... I, I received it so well and I balanced them. Not Babe. one. Two. Two girls. <laughs> Babe. Babe! It's a boy. It, that, I am I'm, certain. I'm, it's a boy. I'm having girls. No, you're not having twin girls. No, come on. Why? You have a problem with that? Even if you're going to have twins, they'll be boys and not girls. Babe, the most important thing is that your wife is pregnant. Well, yeah, yeah I guess. <laughs> so you know what? 
you've got a lot of work to do. So just eat your food. And then we go upstairs. You're going to massage me. I don't have a tight. Everything is a whole lot is waiting for you. I don't have a tight for this. Just name whatever you want, baby. Maybe you have to eat. So you have the strength to do the work ahead. I don't have all the strength in the world. <laughs> ah, you, want me to, you want me to massage your feet? Not here, baby. That's a lot of work. Oh. You have to cook for me, too. Oh my you God. have to cook for your wife. I'll do anything. I got to do everything. All the work. So there's a baby in yeah, here. Yeah, and yeah, before I forget, I'll be going to Purity and Michael's school tomorrow to visit them. Oh, yeah. Remind me to transfer money for their school fees, okay? Thank you so much. And thank you one more time for accepting them as you own me. Thank you, you're just everything nice. You're so sweet, everything's sweet. You're just, you're just, you're my chocolate. You're my, you're my, you're my, mm. you're my everything. Mm, now you're going to make my head explode. <laughs> you know, you're my life. Come here, baby. Mm. I love you. I love you even more. But it's a boy. Girl! <laughs> it's a boy. <laughs> Go ahead and eat the food and await the job. Okay, then let's go upstairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 